this is Teacher V and welcome back here on my channel. Gumagawa ako ng mga videos na makakatulong sa inyo para mas lalo niyong maintindihan at mahalin ang mathematics. Kaya bago tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and share mo rin sa iba para matuto din sila sa mathematics. And bago tayo mag-start, I just want to know your answer in this question. So what is your favorite topic in Math 9 third quarter. So, I am asking this kasi yung lesson na ituturo ko sa inyo ay first topic para sa fourth quarter. So, ibig sabihin, natapos na tayo finally sa third quarter. Although, wala tayong face-to-face -face classes, at least we survive. Kaya, gusto kong malaman ano yung mga topic na nagustuhan ninyo. So, comment down below sa ating comment section yung sagot sa question na to. Now, once done, let's have our lesson for today. Our topic is all about the six trigonometric ratios. So, as I told you earlier, quarter four na tayo. Last quarter na for this school year. And kung nakayanan mo ang quarter one hanggang quarter three, basic na lang sa'yo itong quarter four. Kaya ang kaya mo rin itong matapos or matutunan. Nasa first week tayo. At at the end of this video, ito yung ating targets or learning objectives. First, you will know how to illustrate the six trigonometric ratios, yung sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. And second, identify parts of a right triangle. So, ang focus natin dito sa six trigonometric ratios ay tungkol sa right triangle. So, pwede lang tong pag-uusapan natin na to, yung six ratios na to, sa right triangle. O yung triangle na merong 90 degree angle. So, let's begin. Let's have right triangle A, B, C, wherein angle A is our right angle. So, ito yung ating right angle o yung angle na pa L or exactly 90 degrees in measurement. And yung kanyang sides ay A, B, Segment AC and segment BC. So, meron siyang three sides. And let's say that angle C is an acute angle represented by theta. So, ito yung ating angle. At i-represent natin siya using the symbol. So, pag nakakita kayo ng ganitong symbol, ang basa natin yun is theta. Okay, meaning angle. So, sa triangle na to, meron tayong given angle, which is angle C. At Dahil ito yung given angle natin, we can say that segment AB is the opposite side. So, AB is the opposite side or the side across the given angle. So, kung ang theta natin is angle C, yung katapat niya na side, yun yung ating opposite side. While yung ating hypotenuse is the longest side, it is always the side opposite to the right angle. So, ang right angle natin is A o yung may pa L na angle. Ang katapat niya na side is yung hypotenuse. Palaging yung hypotenuse. So, another way of identifying the hypotenuse side of the right triangle, yung pababa siya or paslide, the side, yun yung hypotenuse natin. At hindi yan nagbabago. So, here in this triangle, BC is our hypotenuse. While the last side, yung segment AC, ito naman yung tinatawag nating adjacent side. Or the side next to the given angle. Okay, so tandaan nyo to, pag adjacent, ito yung side na katabi lang ng angle natin. Yung opposite, ito yung side na katapat ng angle natin, adjacent, katabi. Yung hypotenuse, lagi na katapat nitong ating right angle. But what if kung ang theta natin o yung angle natin is angle B? Let's see. So, let's say angle B is an acute angle represented by theta. So, andito yung angle natin. So, ano naman kaya dito yung opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse side? Ganun pa rin ba? Okay, tignan natin. Yung adjacent side ay itong segment AB. Kanina sa angle C, opposite siya. Pero dito sa angle B, adjacent na siya. Kasi nga, Pag sinabi natin adjacent, the side next to the given angle. So, kung ang angle natin ay angle B, yung side na katabi niya is yung 
segment A, B. So, ito yun na yung adjacent. Ngayon, hypotenuse niya, ayan, yung hypotenuse hindi yan magbabago. Ayun pa rin yun. Yung BC pa rin, or segment BC pa rin, yung ating hypotenuse. Pero, itong segment AC, siya na ngayon ang magiging opposite side. Or yung side across the given angle. Kasi ito na yung side na katapat ng ating angle B. So, mapapansin ninyo, Depende sa angle given, yung magiging adjacent side and magiging opposite side. Okay? So, pwedeng magkapalit yung dalawang yan. Pero ang hypotenuse, hindi yan nagbabago. At itong tatlong parts na ating right triangle ay merong tinatawag na trigonometric ratios. Kaya napakahalaga na bago ninyo maintindihan yung mga tri trigonometric ratios, maintindihan ninyo yung adjacent side and opposite side, and of course, yung hypotenuse side. So, since naintindihan na natin, tignan na natin yung ating mga trigonometric ratios. So, we have sine theta. Again, ang basa natin dito is theta. Ang abbreviation niya is SIN theta. At ang formula or definition itong sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Ito yung ratio niya. So, i-divide natin yung opposite sa hypotenuse. Yung pangalawang trigonometric ratio is cosine. Then, ang abbreviation niya is yung cos. So, pag nakakita kayo ng cos, ibig sabihin yan cosine. Cosine theta, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, dito naman sa cosine, ang involved is adjacent and ang hypotenuse. Sa sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Sa cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. And, yung pangatlo is yung tangent theta or abbreviation niya is tan theta. Makikita naman natin dito sa tangent, walang hypotenuse. Ano lang ang meron? Yung opposite over the adjacent. So, yan yung three basic trigonometric ratios na ginagamit natin sa ating right triangle. Pero, meron din tayong mga reciprocal nitong mga trigonometric ratios na to. So, ano naman kaya yung another or three uh, reciprocal nitong sine, cosine, and tangent? So, tignan natin. Ang reciprocal ng sine theta is cosecant theta. Ang abbreviation niya is CSC theta. And tignan ninyo yung kanyang ratio, hypotenuse over opposite. So, anong napansin ninyo? Kung ang sine is opposite over hypotenuse, dito nireciprocal natin yung sine. Okay? Or binagbaliktad natin. Hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, kaya masasabi natin na yung cosecant is the reciprocal of sine theta. Next, ang reciprocal naman ng cosine is yung secant. Second theta or sec theta. So, second yan. Second theta. And pakikita nyo yung ratio. Tignan natin. I-compare natin yung ratio ng second sa cosine. So, makikita ninyo, pinagbaliktad lang natin. At dito, adjacent over hypotenuse. Then dito, hypotenuse over adjacent. So, reciprocal ng cosine itong ating second. At yung tangent, meron din syempre yung reciprocal and that is cotangent. Ito madaling matandaan kasi pareha silang may word na tangent. So, ang abbreviation natin dito is cot, then theta. At ang gagawin lang natin is reciprocal natin itong opposite over adjacent. So, magiging adjacent over opposite. So, yan yung anim na trigonometric ratios na pag-uusapan natin today. So, natandaan nyo ba yung anim na yun? So, let's sum up. Ayan. So, we have sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. At meron tayong mnemonic dito or parang abbreviation para, para mas madali nyo matandaan yung formula. Ito yung tinatawag nating so katawa so shakao. Ano yan, ma'am? Anong pinagsasabi mo, ma'am? So, ganito yan. So means sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Kaya nga so. So, tignan nyo yung mga first letter natin. So, S-O-H. Yung ka naman, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Kaya ka, C-A-H. Para sa towa, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Ayan, towa. So, yung so is yung cosecant is equal to Hypotenuse over opposite, second. Hypotenuse over adjacent, kaya siya. And cow, cotangent is equal to adjacent over opposite. So, yan yung mga 
dapat ninyong tandaan na parang abbreviation para matandaan ninyo yung six trigonometric ratios. So, katowa, so, shakao. Now, let's have examples applying those trigonometric ratios. So, here, ang angle natin is yung angle D o ito yung ating theta. Pagkatapos, dahil ito ang ating theta, yung ating EF is the opposite and yung DE is our adjacent side. Okay, again, yung opposite, yung katapat niya na side, and then yung adjacent, yung katabi niya na side. Now, itong longest side o yung side na nasa tapat ng right angle, yung hypotenuse. Now, kukunin natin yung six trigonometric ratios niya gamit itong mga measurement or given na sukat ng ating mga sides. So, unahin natin yung sine. So, ang gagawin natin, sine D, Okay, kasi yung theta natin or yung angle natin is angle D. Kaya, D yan. Sine D is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite is 15, then hypotenuse is 17. So, sine D is equal to 15 over 17. If in case na pwede pa siyang ma-lowest term, i-lowest term ninyo. Okay? Next, cosine D. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ka. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So, adjacent natin is 8 over 17. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. Ano opposite? 15 over adjacent, 8. Now, madali na lang makuha yung other 3, yung cosecant, second, and cotangent. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, pagbalik ta rin na lang natin, yung sine, kunin natin yung reciprocal nito, or pagbalik ta rin natin, para makuha natin yung cosecant. So, ang cosecant D is equal to 17 over 15. Then, dito naman sa cosine, ang reciprocal niya is second. So, we have 17 over 8. So, pinag-interchange lang natin or kinuha lang natin yung reciprocal. And para sa naman sa cotangent, adi, pagbalik ka rin lang din natin to cotangent D is equal to 8 over 15. So, nakuha na natin yung anim na trigonometric ratios ng ating triangle. How about... If we have angle F, so ang theta naman natin dito is yung angle F. So, kunin natin yung ating 6 trigonometric ratios. So, dahil ito yung ating angle, ang adjacent natin is itong EF and ang opposite natin is DE. Okay? So, again, adjacent to kasi ito yung katabi niyang side ng angle. Then, ito yung opposite kasi ito yung katapat niyang side. Ang hypotenuse, hindi naman yan nagbabago. Ayan pa rin. So, kunin natin yung sine F. So, opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite natin is 8. Then, hypotenuse is 17. Sine F, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ang adjacent natin is 15. Then, ang hypotenuse is 17. Para naman sa tangent F. So, tangent, opposite over adjacent, 8. Yung opposite natin over 15. Para makuha yung other 3 ratios, so kunin natin yung mga reciprocal nila. Ang reciprocal ng sine is cosecant. So cosecant F is equal to 17 over 8. So pinagbaliktad lang natin to. Then, ang reciprocal ng cosine is second. So second F is equal to 17 over 15. And sa tangent, a reciprocal niya is cotangent. So, cotangent F is equal to 15 over 8. So, okay, now let's practice. Let's have our V math quiz. Okay, number one. What trigonometric ratio corresponds to the ratio of the side adjacent to the acute angle in a right triangle to the side opposite to E? So, is it sine, cosine, tangent, or cotangent? So, again, ang involved dito is yung adjacent side and opposite side. So, let's have... 10 seconds for you to answer this question. Okay, time is up. Let's see if you got it correctly. Ang answer natin, adjacent to opposite is cotangent. Okay, di ba? Sa cow, cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Which of these trigonometric ratios is the reciprocal of second theta? 
Ayan. Ano kaya ang reciprocal ng second theta? Is it sine theta, cos sine theta, tangent theta, or cosecant theta? So, let's have 10 seconds to answer this question. Okay, time is up and the answer, reciprocal ng second theta is, let's see, cosine theta. So, tandaan, yung cosine, ang reciprocal niya is yung second theta. Number three question, in a right angle ECQ, angle Q is a right angle. Which side of the triangle is the hypotenuse? Is it segment EC, segment CQ, segment EQ or none of the above. Okay, let's have 10 seconds to answer this question. Okay, time is up and the answer, ano kaya ang hypotenuse dito? The answer is EC, segment EC. Number 4, which of the following statements is correct? So, we have this triangle. So, tignan natin kung alin ang tama. Is it sine Z is equal to 12 over 13? Tan Z is equal to 5 over 12? And cosine D is equal to 13 over 12? Second E is equal to 12 over 13? So, ano kaya ang correct? Let's have this 10 second timer. Time is up. The answer is letter A. Number 5. Using the figure below, what is cotangent C? Is it 12 over 13, 13 over 12, 12 over 5, or 5 over 12? Let's start our timer. Remember this, yung ating 6 trigonometric ratios, so katoa, so shakao, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and co tangent. Now, what's your score? Did you get 5 out of 5? I hope so. And that's it for today's lesson. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video natin today. At huwag kalimutan na i-like at i-share to sa iba para matuto din sila sa math. At you can also follow me on my Facebook page, V Teach Channel. Hanggang sa susunod dating lesson. See you again next time and goodbye!